Now look, I know at the end of the day, my opinion doesn't matter to most people and especially to Hollywood. But let's be honest, Hollywood really doesn't care about any of our opinions. If they did, they wouldn't have remade The Mummy with Tom Cruise when we already had a perfect version with Boris Karloff. All right? If Hollywood actually cared about our opinions, that movie never would have been made. That being said, I do want to say something about this whole nonsense about making a Lord of the Flies movie with an all-female cast. And before I start, yes, I have defended the fact that the 13th Doctor is going to be a woman. But that's a completely different subject. The Doctor is not a human being. The Doctor is an alien. It actually makes sense for the Doctor to try being a woman. All right? It would leave for some interesting storylines where you have the Doctor experiencing things the way his companions would have experienced it, his female companions, where people dismiss her just for being a woman. And the Doctor, at the end of the day, is all about experiencing things. That's why the Doctor wants to be ginger. Doc the Doctor wants red hair, because the Doctor's never been a redhead. And again, the Doctor's not a human being. The Doctor could regenerate into anything. I mean, let's not forget that in the television movie with Paul McGann, the Master was, for a good part of the movie, an ectoplasmic snake that possessed a human being. All right, so the Doctor could choose to regenerate as a giant anaconda, if the Doctor so chose. So that is a completely different subject and a completely different animal when you get right down to it. With making an all-female Lord of the Flies, it is, one, totally missing the point of the original novel, and two, just plain lazy, all right? I'm sorry, and I, I personally, I can't stand the all-females Ghostbusters, by the way. I thought it was a misogynistic pile of puke. Honestly, I did. So I'm not one of those, oh, girl power, I'm not going to worship something simply because it's got an all-female cast. I'm going to judge it on its own merits. And the all-female Ghostbusters sucked, all right? And this nonsense about making an all-female Ocean's Eleven when we already got a perfect one with people like Frank Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr., we did not need the first remake at all, all right? We, we certainly did not need the first remake. We don't need another one with an all-female cast. So, all-female Lord of the Flies, as I said, plain lazy, plain lazy. I'm sorry, and like I said, you're missing the point of the original novel. Now, granted, I thought the novel sucked. It's one of those books where I have no idea why it's a classic, because I found the writing terrible. I found the plot terrible. To me, it, it, I, I can't stand it. I don't like it. I don't like Catcher in the Rye. I don't like The Old Man in the Sea. To me, classics are things like Dracula and The Phantom of the Opera and Frankenstein and Sherlock Holmes. Those are classics to me, not things like The Lord of the Flies. But I do get the point of the original novel, and it's you've got the cream of the crop of male, white, British nobility alone on an island turning into savage little monsters. And it's because of the whole idea that, oh, these, these boys are our future and our saviors, and they're so gentle and kind and noble. Switching it to an all-female cast totally misses the point that Golding was trying to make. And again, it's just plain lazy. You can take the same basic idea and write a completely new story. And you can make all new female characters. You don't need a female piggy, all right? You can make all new female characters with all different types of characteristics, right? Like, like take a sci-fi version. Their parents have been on this planet terraforming it, getting it ready to colonize, and they've sent for their daughters. And the spaceship that the daughters are on crash lands on an uninhabited alien planet. You have basically the same idea as the Lord of, Lord of the Flies, but you've got a sci-fi setting and you can create all new characters. You can have whole new dynamics, whole new subplots, right? Or post-apocalyptic. You know, whether you want to go religious ap apocalypse or, you know, 
nuclear apocalypse or what have you. You've got these girls in an area where they are the only survivors and they're cut off from civilization and the majority of the world has gone to you know what and they have to survive on their own with no adults. That's a different way. You can even do the island one, but in a completely different way. Now, growing up, the majority of my bullies, of course, were female, and they were, of course, rich girls. They were they, Their parents were lawyers and plastic surgeons, and they, they were the rich girls from Newport Beach, and their parents thought they could do no wrong and that they pooped gold, all right? So you, got, you can take that, you can take this bunch of rich, spoiled brats whose parents have actually had enough and have sent them to this island that's privately owned that's a boot camp for rich, privileged girls to teach them survival skills and to get them to not be such brats, you know. And something mysterious could happen to all the camp counselors where they all die. The girls are cut off from communicating with the rest of the world and they have to survive on their own on this island until somebody finally comes with the supplies that only come like every six months and because they're supposed to make it on their own. And you could, do, you could do the island that way. And again, you could have totally new characters, totally different plots. You know, you don't need to take the original Lord of the Flies and just give everybody vaginas instead of penises. All right? That's lazy. That is lazy, 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 lazy. Now, granted, there's only so many plots out there, but you don't have to take the same plots and just change the gender of the character. You don't have to do that. You can take that same basic plot, like I said, and you can make something totally new out of it. So this whole business about making an all-female Lord of the Flies is missing the point, like I said, it's missing Golding's point, and it's just plain lazy. All right? A two-year-old could come up with a better idea than this. I just came up with better ideas than this, and I'm a terrible writer. All right? I'm great at ideas. I'm terrible at actual writing. But I just came up with way better ideas than just changing the genders of the characters of the Lord of the Flies. Honestly. Now, I don't think that there's some big conspiracy because the two writers are male. No, because I've known plenty of men that can write great female characters. They write female characters better than some women write female characters. You know, I just think that these two idiots are being plain lazy. Lazy. Missing the point and completely lazy. And that is all I really wanted to say. Thank you for putting up with my ranting.